Hello, hello, hello. Today is um, Therapy Thinking Thursdays, Life Chronicles with Yolanda. Ain't nobody came in on here yet, but I decided to go live today because, woo, y'all, ain't nobody mad but the devil, and I'm putting a big period on there because, ooh, I'm so glad that God is on my side because there has been so many things that has tried to trigger me to snap back and do the most this, but I am so grateful um, to God. And so today I came on here live just to share um, with the world how amazing God is, how beautiful this day is. And I had to come outside and sit on my porch and just um, enjoy this fresh, crisp air while we still have a chance before the weather just truly changes. And I'm so um, grateful for today. And so today I just, um, I really don't even have a topic, but just want to share. Um, I don't think I've done this before, but wanted to share why I do um, the Life Chronicles with Yolanda. Um, because I believe that we all have a story to tell. We all have something that we used to be, that we aren't anymore, um, something that we still may be, that we don't want to be, but God has a purpose and a plan for each one of our lives and that he wants to um, allow us to experience the things that we go through only for us to share them with someone else. And that is just the, um, the ministry that I feel that God has put in my heart to share my life experiences with others, to give them hope, to let them know that no, things in life are not easy, but with God by our side, we have someone that is there with us, that will go through it with us, to know that we're not alone, even though our family may disappoint us. I can tell you that my family disappoint me. <laughs> I've disappointed me. Um, sometimes my husband disappoints me, but God is always going to be the same, and he's going to be the one that we always and only can depend on to help us through every life situation that we go through, every trial that we go through, only God can help us through. And when I tell you that God is doing so many amazing things, just when I feel like I want to just shut down, when I feel like life is just over for me, God always reminds me that I will live and not die and that he has a word for me to share with this world. And it will come to pass. I'm going to have to go through and I'm willing to go through what make me think that I can't go through when God has went through hell and high water for us to have life to be here today. And there's no reason why we should not give him the glory, the praise and the honor that he so deserves because he didn't have to do what he did. And so we are um, required to do all that we can to forgive. Oh, my God. I had to experience that this morning that the devil tried to use a family member to come against me. And my first instinct was to pop back and go off but i had to remember y'all have been listening to pastor todd about forgiveness and how um this past sunday he was talking about you know forgive because they know not what they've done and you know that is something that god did for us one of his last words was forgive them for they know not what they do and that is something that we totally have to do we have to remember when people offend us when people do things to lie on us to make us get out of character we have to quickly when i say quickly tell them or not even tell them but in your heart and your mind to be like you know what I forgive them because they just don't know what they're doing they just obviously they don't know and I had to do that today and I tell you I felt so much peace when I did that because yes at first I cried a little bit because I was hurt but once I was like you know what I forgive her because she don't know what she's doing and God quickly just soothed my heart and I'm so grateful because before I probably would have went off and probably would have said some ugly things and probably try to think of how can I hurt them back because they're hurting me, they're lying on me. But I'm so grateful that God is changing my heart, fixing my heart. He's healing my heart um, in every broken place. I still got a lot of work to do, but I'm so grateful that I can depend on God to help me through the things that I have to go through, the things I have to learn. And I'm just, I honor him. I am just grateful that he is using me to be a light in someone else's life, even if it's just one person i am so grateful to reach them by my life because we never know who's watching us right we never know who life we can ruin by the things that we do um in our life so i'm grateful that god apparently is doing i must be doing something right for the devil thinking he can use whoever he want to use to get at me because he knew my weaknesses he knows that you know my family i love my family but you know it's usually the people that is closest to us that can hurt us and cut us deeper than anybody can and i'm just grateful that god is allowing me to change my perspective 
perspective and the tra trajectory of how I look at things, changing my mind, changing my thoughts. And y'all, it ain't easy, but it's so worth it because I truly, I, I plan to live and die by doing what God has called me to do. And if that means I have to let go and let people act how they want to act and I still remain in my character, even though it hurt that I want to probably choke the life out of them. No, it ain't even worth it because my life depends on it. And I have to just stay obedient to the word of God and live it. Because when I think about all that he went through just for us, I probably couldn't take all them beatings, but just words that people are saying and things that they're doing it is a piece. It ain't even nothing compared to what Jesus went through. But anyway, my life story, my life chronicles is built um, to share with those that have been hurt, those that have been rejected, those have been lied on, those that have been uh, used and abused. Um, I feel like God has allowed me to experience those things to share with other women, with other people, period, and let them know that God is a way maker. Even when we don't think that he is making a way, he is making a way. So I just want to let y'all know when I'm posting about my life chronicles, I am truly talking about what God is doing in my life, how he's helping me to get through uh, things that I struggle with, how he's helping me to um, just be a better me, to be an example to someone that may be experiencing what I've experienced in life. And so that's what I wanted to talk about today. I don't think that I've ever just really just sat down and, and did that. So y'all know why I'm posting these posts of my life chronicles. I'm truly being authentic um, about it. I probably don't go into every day deep detail but on the surface of being honest and true about my life my struggles my hurts my pain everything that I can share to help someone else be a better them then I'm willing to lay my life on the line for my brother and my sister to be able to just be authentic to share and not be embarrassed about what it is that I'm dealing dealing with so if I ever post something and you need more details, then inbox me because sometimes we do have to be careful on exactly everything that we share. But for the most part, I'm going to share with how God has brought me through whatever I've been through. And I'm willing to, to be authentic to do that. And so that's what Life Chronicles um, with Yolanda is. It's all about my testimony with what God is doing for me um, and how he's making a way for me when there are ways that I feel like I'm struggling with. Now, do I have it all together? Absolutely not. But I am going through. Um, the process which a lot of us don't like to go through the process but we have to go through the process to get to the promise and so um, that's what I share for and that's what I'm doing hey Jennifer hey um Ram Ram uh, Ramona said amen thank y'all for tuning in um, I appreciate y'all and um, just catch me on YouTube I'm sharing my cooking um, videos I am sharing so many things on my um, YouTube page it's Yolanda Foxy Fierce Sanders on YouTube and um, even She Walks Fierce is my ministry for women of healing um, from the inside out you know I, I'm able to help y'all or help women you know we can look cute on the outside but on the inside God is calling us to deal with our hurts and our pains on the inside and as we heal from the inside out then we can beautify everything we can do our hair our makeup our um put on our cute little glasses and have our nice outfits on but that's another ministry that i have is she walks fierce i have that um, page on here as well so god is just all these things are just a part of my life that i am sharing with the world to help women go through um even men if they want to relate to anything that we as people go through um pain and hurt because it doesn't have a face on it, it doesn't have a name on it but it's just that our hearts go through so many things and i am just here to share um with the world um how god is bringing me through and how he can bring you through and how he's going to do what he does for me he can do for you and that's all i want to share today and y'all have a blessed day Love Hey, y'all. Thanks for tuning in today, listening to my live video that I had to re-record. And I am grateful for your time. Go ahead, click, share, and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.